president of PowerSmith here with me today to help present and answer any of your questions that you may have. All right, to begin, we'll uh, start with a little brief uh, overview of PowerSmith. Well, PowerSmith International was founded in 1996 and serves the North American, European, and Asian markets. Our company innovates, manufactures, and markets products and services to help organizations monitor, manage, and reduce building reserve utilization and GHG emissions. The, the Pioneer product line and cornerstone of PowerSmith is the manufacturing of high-efficiency transformers. We then progress into developing meters and sensors to demonstrate and prove the efficiency and performance of our products in the field. And now, listening to the needs of our customers, we've expanded this idea of demonstrating efficiency and performance into the WOW Sustainability Management Platform, which is the topic of today's presentation. So what is WOW? Well, WOW is a comprehensive cloud-based platform that provides enterprise-level sustainability management applications to help organizations advance their greening initiatives. And while how it works is at the bottom layer here on your screen, contains the content input in the various forms of rich media, such as your flash, animation, or videos, and it also includes your automated and manual data, both live and historical, such as your resource usages and other, any other measurements you wish to monitor regularly. And, move it, and as we move along the process, we have the robust, wild, centralized cloud database, and this is where all your information, such as your data values and your media and app content, structures, and formats, are all stored. Next, we have the application. This is where our many different apps. Uh, you, this is uh, this is where our uh, many different apps can present your information and measurement data in various easily accessible and understandable manners. Then, to access your apps, we have a variety of means at your disposal. We have freestanding UL listed kiosks, which we strongly recommend, as a stand as an icon of change and become a focal point of your organization's sustainability efforts. Uh, these, these kiosks also promote effective communication and visibility of your sustainability measures to all within your organization. Uh, we also have tablet and measurement, or sorry, tablet and smartphone use for easy access on the go, uh, web links you can post on your existing pages, and public and private customizable workspaces for the individual users. And lastly here, we have, of course, of course the stakeholders. Uh, various stakeholders can use these numerous access means to utilize the applications in their web space to support their unique workflow. Now, I introduced the WOW space idea in the previous slide, and this is a significant attribute of WOW. Through the system, uh, through the system, sorry, users can define their own WOW space. Uh, for example, you can have a WOW space for a public audience that focuses on outreach and education apps, while your executive team can have individual private spaces to utilize the management and dashboard apps and features for decision making and their own different responsibilities. Now, as you're all aware, the most common definition of sustainability is the triple bottom line. And the WOW system and its applications have been designed around these three pillars and have been generalized by our clients into three interrelated functional areas, outreach and education, building resource management, and GHG and carbon. At PowerSmith, we feel that for sustainability to be successful, there has to be a balance between these three pillars. While a holistic approach serves to promote this balance, and by having, all of the, by having all of the domains dynamically work with and support each other. Also, a hallmark of, a hallmark of WOW is its scalability. It allows you to start with the basics, such as setting up a WOW space for a single building with one application and measuring a single data point and expanding complexity and scope to include your entire enterprise and all three of our functional areas of WOW. In terms of our functional areas, there are many key features of the system that allow for success in your, in your outreach and education initiatives. Uh, like we discussed before, and at the top of your screen here, you can create different views to target and support various stakeholders. And moving clockwise, WOW apps can be, can be supported by and present live data to provide stakeholders continuous feedback of programs and projects. And to make your measurement information and value feeding to WOW easier to understand and use, you can create equivalency units to relate the information into a manner your stakeholders can understand. Uh, this can, for example, this could be your metric tons of waste landfill 
into garbage bag full, your CO2 equivalent, or any other you wish to include. Uh, WOW has the ability to share information across multiple stakeholders, buildings, and communities, as well as providing a launch pad to quickly access WOW spaces created for each of your buildings. Uh, this allows all your information pertinent to you to be in one location and allow the ease of communication. Uh, you also have the ability to edit and present media and app content both quickly and easily. And to build on that idea, WOW includes customizable applications that can be repurposed by you on an ongoing basis to support your changing needs and goals. And here's an example in the picture in the center here uh, where the kiosk is being used to view uh, the progress to date of an organization's sustainability initiative. Uh, for building resource management, target, targeting the second pillar enables you to dive deeper into your building usages, find ways to reduce, and support the intent of the ISO 50001. Uh, first, WOW has proven its ability to access data from all industry standard meters and building automation and management systems. To manipulate your data, WOW provides several powerful analytical and user presentation capabilities uh, through its various apps, the charting engine, equivalency, equivalency units, and also uh, arithmetic equations that can be applied to your data, and also many more features. And all of this is done in an easy point and click environment. Also, last, uh, we have uh, WOW leverages measurement and verification by allowing forecasting, models, and normalization of consumption and production, uh, coupled with its ability to directly apply uh, your projects to the live and historical data, supports the development of best practices. And lastly here, uh, like described before, uh, WOW supports stakeholder workflows uh, with your live and historical data while enabling individuals to define their own WOW space. And the third functional area of GHG and carbon is uh, built out in the ISO 14064 framework. Uh, it's scalable, like the rest of your system, and this is in respect to which, uh, which scopes you wish to report on, and also the granularity you wish to uh, include in each one of those scopes. And uh, all the while, this can grow and evolve as you do. And uh, this also includes comprehensive scope three management, in, uh, including value chain emissions. Uh, the model includes so the module includes uh, factor table management and centralization of those tables, uh, supporting accuracy and traceability of your report. Uh, WOW can also distribute data entry workloads right down to the individual data point on a permission basis. Uh, this can spread out the workload and responsibility and get everyone in your organization involved. Uh, after the delegation of the, of the workload, uh, WOW enables management of the GHG module through tasks. Uh, customized tasks and reminders delivered through the system and email can make sure uh, data doesn't slip through the cracks and keeps you on track for your reporting deadline. Uh, tasks can be assigned not only, not only to manage GHG, but any of your other data points, or can even simply be a text-based instruction independent of the data. And all of this is leveraged upon the resource management and outreach, outreach functionalities as it is a holistic system. And now I'll turn it over to Phil, who's going to take you through a few of our customer benefits. Okay, well, thank you, Kamala. That was uh, short and sweet, but I think a very good overview of the uh, of the PowerSmith Wow platform and its uh, and its total capabilities. Uh, obviously, there's a lot more detail uh, behind that. So, if any of you are interested in pursuing it further, please uh, you know just get in touch with us, and we'd be happy to demonstrate and show you some examples of systems and uh, where customers are actually using. Uh, powerful platform for their sustainability uh, purpose. Uh, here's an example, um, London Healthcare, who, uh, who are currently uh, using the WOW platform. Uh, London Healthcare uh, started out with a with an energy challenge uh, where they uh, basically went around to various departments, educated the department's stakeholders about the cost of energy and the, uh, the extent that energy was being used, educated them in terms of ways that they could help reduce consumption and by turning computers off, for example, at nights and weekends, and turning off lights and water coolers and fax machines and various things like that. Uh, and it got to the point where they were uh, achieving quite substantial results, and, and departments uh, through these challenges were achieving anywhere from 10 to 27 percent reduction. And this was demonstrated by monitoring their consumption before the challenge and then monitoring the consumption during and after the challenge. So the results were, in fact, empirically measured. So they're real, real results. 
it got to the point where uh, the whole program became very cumbersome because they were using spreadsheets, uh, manual data entry uh, into Excel sheets and so on, and then updating charts on a continually daily basis in order to be able to provide the feedback to the stakeholders. So uh, WOW became a very important platform for them because they could use the kiosk uh, to now deliver the messaging directly to the departments. They use live measurements so that all the measurement is, is done in electronic form and it's stored and it's shared across all the stakeholders within the, within the competition. So this allows them now to accelerate the program that they had started. It gets rid of all the cumbersome data entry and all the manual work that they had, uh, they had, they had been doing. So uh, using the, the program, uh, the PowerSmith's Wild program here, you know, they're allowed to accelerate the whole, what they call the Chester network within the hospitals. And they've now moved it out to other hospital organizations within the region as well. So they're looking for you know, huge, huge uh, benefits uh, going forward. Uh, the next uh, customer uh, is, a, is, a, is a group of schools, Department of Education, and uh, they're using the WOW system. Uh, they're monitoring their energy consumption down at the various component levels. So for example, they measure the lighting that's being consumed, and they measure uh, internal lighting, external parking lighting. Uh, they measure uh, energy that's consumed for uh, heating and ventilation. Uh, they're measuring energy that's, that's used for uh, plug load, such as computers and things that you would plug into the wall. And uh, they're using the, uh, the building management resource system in, uh, in, its, in its full capacity in the sense that they create charts and metrics of uh, usages per square meter, and they compare schools against one another. And then they have guidelines as to what the usages should be. And uh, through this process, they were able to identify an issue with one of their control systems. In fact, there was a, an issue with the electrical system with a, with a phasing issue, and the control system went offline. The control system didn't come back online properly, so the building effectively was being, uh, you know, run in a non-controlled manner. So the lights were on in the parking lot all the time, uh, the lights were on at night, and so on. And using the system, they were able to identify that. They estimated that the savings just in that one building alone was estimated to be about $3,500 per month, which more than paid for the system for a whole year for that for that facility. The, uh, this will give you an idea of some of the charting, which Callan referred to in terms of the point and click. Your data streams uh, are there in the system, and they're available to all the users that have access to them, and they can be shared. And of course, the advantage of, of the system is that the more data streams and the more buildings you bring online within your portfolio, the more comparative data that you have, and the better the system uh, uh, benefits for you, because now you can develop more metrics and, uh, and start benchmarking one building against the other, and, uh, and also benchmarking your buildings against external buildings as well. Uh, this is another, uh, another example of how the system is being used, and this is kind of a different example from what you would probably typically uh, you know, understand in the industry. Typically, you would be looking at lighting costs, or you'd be looking at HVAC systems, and so on. Uh, actually, here, they're measuring the actual usage of uh, distribution transformers or electrical infrastructure within the building. And the idea here is that what they wanted to understand was how much of the infrastructure that they purchased was actually being used. Uh, the industry had indicated to them through the electrical design that their usages would be in the 50 to 60 percent. So uh, as they started measuring the consumption on these transformers, what they found was that the peak usages were far less than 25 percent, and the normal usages were down more into the 10 to 12 percent, which indicated two things. First of all, that they were buying very large infrastructure, which was being very lightly used, which allowed them then to establish a best practice in terms of how to design their electrical systems going forward. If the code required that they had to oversize their electrical system, uh, such as we see here, which is four times larger than, than what they need, then obviously it was in their interest to acquire the most energy efficient products that, uh, that could operate down at that 15 to 20 percent level. And so through monitoring the actual subsystems within their facility, they were able to determine best practices for new construction and also retrofit going forward. And that's just a a few very, uh, you know, thumbnail examples of how the whole system is being used. 
the um, of course the holistic approach is, is is interesting because as we move uh, sustainability programs throughout the organization, it requires policy change, it requires a lot of education and a lot of outreach. And the combination of the kiosks, the live data, the animations, the instant feedback, the ability to be able to track the competitions are absolutely required in terms of being able to link the bottom-up, top-down sort of strategies related to sustainability within an organization. And I think truly has the opportunity to accelerate the sustainability programs within uh, within organizations. Well, that was a great overview. Overview. Thank you so much. We do have a few questions from the participants. The first one is, uh, what is the cost of the system? Yeah, the cost of the system varies obviously by the number of buildings, number of data points, and the extent to which the system is being used. It's charged on a subscription basis, so many of our organizations pay somewhere in the range of, uh, you know, two hundred to five hundred dollars per month on subscription basis, depending on the extent to which they're using the system. Uh, but in, in terms of getting started with the system, we do a needs analysis with the, with the client to try and understand their user workflows and the extent that they want to use the system, and then we price the modules accordingly, uh, you know, based on that initial assessment. And then the customer can scale into the system and use as much as they want, you know, going forward. Mm -hmm. And is this going to be ISO 50001 certified, I believe? It is. Yeah. It is. It meets the requirements of 50001, yes. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was designed with that in mind. Okay. And then we have another question now. How much is the monitoring service? Is that different from your monthly charge, or? No. The, the, the monitoring service is all part of that, of that service. So, mm -hmm. in other words, that, you know, once the meters and so on are installed, then it's a matter of uh, collecting the data on an ongoing basis, then using the analytic tools to produce graphs and metrics and charts and so on, and move the live data into animations. So that's all included in that uh, in those subscription fees. Okay, great. The next one is: Can you talk more about how Wow engages employees in, sustain in sustainability initiatives? Yeah, employee engagement, uh, it, you know, is a, is a big issue in terms of uh, moving forward in sustainability because we're asking the organization to change in a dramatic way. Uh, it requires uh, a lot of policy change, a lot of communications, a lot of best practice changes, uh, communication, you know, from top to bottom and bottom to top. So the advantage of, of using WOW in that sort of environment is that, first of all, you can start with the kiosk concept where you can have public views or stakeholder views of policies, procedures, initiatives, programs, and ongoing uh, instantaneous feedback in terms of the programs or the, or that have been undertaken within the organization. So, for example, if it's waste management, those uh, programs can be described. Uh, the individuals involved uh, can uh, can update the, the data themselves or it can be updated automatically. But more importantly, all the stakeholders would get instant feedback in terms of the progress they're making against goals and strategies. Uh, if you're developing products, for example, from a research and development point of view, those uh, policies and procedures uh, could be also, again, integrated into the kiosk view or into the, uh, into the WOW system, and that messaging can be delivered out through the, through the whole organization. The advantage of, of using the kiosk concept, as Callum account uh, alluded to earlier, is that it's a, it's a point of change. And, uh, and so using the kiosk with the system, I think it allows you to do a better job of communication because it in itself identifies that there's something different about the organization. So it allows the ability to be able to use kiosk, public views, to be able to use live data, to be able to use animations, to track uh, sustainability projects, using live data within the sustainability projects so it can knit the whole organization together from bottom to top in terms of policy changes, you know, policies, procedures, and, uh, and so on. So I think it has a, has a tremendous opportunity for employee engagement. Oh, great. That's a great explanation. Um, our final question is, do you guarantee the savings for your monitoring service? Well, our monitoring service is based on a, on a user, user basis. So we provide uh, professional services if the customer would like to uh, acquire those. But more importantly, we provide all the technology and the tools to give the client the opportunity to manage their own savings. To, we can help them, for example, identify areas that they may want to invest in, such as uh, energy conservation measures, change of lighting, or change of you know, other components with the infrastructure. But it really becomes the client's responsibility 
to take advantage of the, of the system to collect the data, to establish their projects, and then to monitor the success of those projects on an ongoing basis. So we're not really in the performance contracting business as, as some organizations are. Uh, we, we supply services to the performance contractors, but really we provide a platform with education and support and professional services that the client needs to help them, in fact, use the WOW platform to establish and achieve their own goals. Well, great. Thank you so much uh, to Power Smith and for everyone who joined us this afternoon. I hope you found the information valuable, and we hope to see you next month on January 19th. Have a wonderful afternoon. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.